student today we are going to start the next point that is adaptation in grassland plants the grassland plants means the bushes and grasses of a diverse types are called as a seen in a grassland plants here the soil erosion is these grassland plants are control the soil erosion by the fibrous roots of a grasses and a very tall grasses are seen in the equatorial region and short grasses grow in cold region the worst meadows are found in the plains of hilly areas these are the two adaptations they adapted a fibrous roots and also very tall for to very short grasses these the am and potato are the examples of the adaptations of the grassland plants the next adaptation of for ingestion of food in the plants the most of the plants are autotrophic some plants are parasitic example are dodder that is cascuta it is a parasitic plant there are a hostorial roots for sucking and absorb absorbing the nutrients from the host plant the fungi cannot perform the photosynthesis as they lack of chlorophyll and they obtain food from starchy foodstuffs these are the examples the cascuta and venus fly trap trap is a carnivorous plants for the purpose of ingestion of food in plants now let us learn the next point that is the adaptation in animals in adaptation in aquatic animals in aquatic animals the their body become a spindle shaped and transparent eyelids and air bladders within the body these these are the adaptations in aquatic animals for the respiration of gill air bladder within the body is floating this is the example the fish fish is the example for the adaptation in aquatic animal next the adaptation in forest and grassland animals in the forest in the grassland animals there are both types of animals we can see first one is a carnivorous and second one is a herbivorous all of you know the definition of carnivorous and herbivorous what adaptations they have changes to adjust the surrounding they have a strong leg the claws and canines become a teeth are stronger the padded paws the eye in front of their head to obtain the food these are the adaptations in the carnivorous animals now let us learn the adaptations in herbivorous animal the eyes below the forehead a long tapering with hooves the long freely moving ears strong teeth camouflage these are the adaptations in the grassland animals for herbivorous the black buck is the example for this next one thank you students today we have learned the adaptations in animals and also the plants